Hi, this is Mike Tachik with Dairyland Electrical Industries. Today's topic will, will be about electric utility interaction with CP systems and the way CP systems can also have effect upon utilities. The systems that we'll cover today would be utility systems, CP orientation, the utility neutral, which is a key part of the story of how those systems interact because it is grounded, and some examples of unintended interactions, which we could use the term interference, but it's not classical interference, but we will treat it as such, and that's between the two systems. So first we have to talk about the power utility orientation in systems. So power utility distribution power systems are grounded regularly in order for, to achieve safety. And a particular facility is also grounded to the power company so that power company and customer are tied together again for the purpose of safety. Because cathodic protection systems live in that same environment uh, and use the soil for conduction to accomplish their purpose, there will be interaction between power utility distribution systems and cathodic protection systems. And that can cause some interesting dilemmas. Let's look at a case that we ran into that involved this very scenario. And it demonstrated it very well. So the objects in this story would be a house that takes power from the utility and some other objects nearby also that receive power, a rectifier, there was also a phone company pedestal that was bonded in. It doesn't receive power, but it is bonded into that same system. A power distribution system runs down the road and serves those uh, two customers, and they are different customers. And then nearby, we have a pipeline that the rectifier is serving, but the impressed current anode bed is on the far side of the residence. So the house is between the pipeline and the anode bed. And perhaps you can see where this is going. So what would you expect the current distribution to be in this case? The anode bed puts out current through the soil to be received at defects in the coating of the pipe. So you'd expect current to emanate from the anode bed and be received at the pipe. So would it look like this? Or perhaps it would look like this. Maybe there's going to be pickup at the house and flow off of the house somehow, as well as other current flow through the soil as expected. In reality, this is what happened. There was current that would uh, be sent from the anode bed to be received at the pipe. There was current picked up at the house. And because the house is grounded, the electric incoming power has a grounded neutral current would flow via that grounded neutral. Current would also get picked up on the grounded neutral of the distribution power line, follow that for a ways, and then discharge off of a couple of points. One was the guy wire support for the pole. Another is the ground connected to the neutral at that pole and at that service. And then there's other connections as well. Somehow current would flow off of the rectifier uh, support base and also off the phone company pedestal. We'll explain how that all occurs. Here's another image that helps show the story. So the power line neutral and the customer neutral that are bonded together are shown in yellow. The impressed current anode bed has current discharge off of it, obviously, and that's shown in blue at the top of the image. The pipeline is receiving current, and that's the pickup of current. That's shown in red. But there's also other points in red and blue that represent pickup and discharge in this image as well. You can see that pickup occurred via the red color at the house. You can see, perhaps if you look carefully along the distribution power line, that there's some blue designations, one right at the transformer where the customer's neutral starts. There's discharge of current there. There's discharge of current at objects very close to the power line and pipeline, and that would be our rectifier uh, support stand. And you also see a distribution ground further to the south of the pipeline, and there's current discharging off of those ground rods. The re result of all of this would be the following. 
Here's an image of the phone company pedestal, which completely fell over after excessive current discharge off of that metal structure, uh, corroded it to the point that it just fell over into the weeds. And likewise, this is the guy wire anchor on the distribution power line. And it was corroded to the point of penciling down to a very thin area. Finally, it just broke free and was laying loose on the ground. So excessive corrosion off of those structures closest to the pipeline. So clearly there was current discharge off of these points.